every industry is vulnerable to attacks. Right now, one of the biggest things that's, that's going on is phishing, but phishing for email service credentials. Phishing for those credentials to get into mail stores to find username and password combinations to third-party sites, so like service providers. Um, on the finance and fraud side, we've seen lots of different things where there's um, viruses or malware that get into the computer that manipulate the browser. So when you go to log into your online banking, it goes along underneath the scenes inside of your browser and transfers money into the attacker's bank account. Um, then there are other industries, so say for media, um, media and entertainment, so media, news media. Because they're afraid of online attacks, there are certain types of stories that they can't cover. They actually lose a lot of their editorial freedom by being afraid of attacks. Um, we've seen attacks against just companies that the internet agrees or decides is bad, or they're coming in and stealing content, turning around and setting up a pirate streaming service and charging people for it. And the people who come to that service don't even know that they're coming to a pirate site. So in a security sense, a lot of what we do is driven by attackers. It's what the attackers do, what their tool capabilities are, what their TTPs are, really what are they doing and what's the signature of it. And this changes. The attackers change based on what we're doing, we change based on what the attackers are doing. And the more we work with customers to solve their problems, the more we gain information and insight and we can use that to help all of our other customers. So there are many best practices for defending websites. I think the simplest, easiest one is know what your user demographics are. So a lot of times the web marketing team, they understand what countries the users are in, even sometimes what county, what city. So they know what constitutes normal traffic. Another best practice that we have is understanding what the current threat environment is. And from an Akamai perspective, we make Akamai rules available, which are derived from threat intelligence. Very holistically, our job is to help the rest of Akamai and our customers fight bad guys. So wherever they're at, whatever they're doing. I usually break that in into two key missions. One is threat intelligence, which is understanding what bad guys or hackers, if you will, what they do, what do their tools look like, what kind of tactics, techniques, and procedures do they use. And then the second mission that we have is to respond to incidents when they happen. Um, and we solve whatever problem is that our customers have. For Akamai, it's very, very much a different story because we're a security company, but we also have business solutions and we can help a company or an organization increase their business. Okay, so a simple thing is e-commerce where the faster and more well performing your website is the more customers it brings in and at the same time you have security in there so it can help you retain a lot of the income that you derive from these new customers.